It's nice to let someone know you're thinking about them, whether or not you know them personally. Today we speak with two women about their act of kindness started right in time for the Easter holiday. Meet Caitlin and Cora. Caitlin got the idea to start a Facebook group making cards for people in nursing homes. When Cora heard the idea, her and her family immediately pitched in to help. I wanted to give my son, he's nine, Mason, a little bit more to do than just schoolwork. I mean, yes, we need to, you know, do the education and stuff, but I wanted to teach him something else, some compassion and how to think about other people during a time that a lot of people are stuck inside thinking about themselves and how they're going to get through tomorrow. And, you know, we're all really involved in what we're doing, but we're not really thinking about how this is kind of affecting everybody, especially people in the nursing homes, because they're not allowed to see anybody. They're not allowed to see their loved ones or their family. Through the group, Caitlin and Cora got a number of families and individuals involved to make cards for the residents of nursing homes in the Erie region. There's uh, 22 nursing homes um, in our region that she listed, and all but three or four are covered by families or groups of friends that were willing to make enough um, cards for each of the residents that are in those homes. Um, there's approximately like a hundred or so in each nursing home. I mean, some have more. Uh, they're like Brevalier has a lot more. They're a very big, you know, facility. But um, we really do have a couple more that still need them. And honestly, it wouldn't be bad for some of the nursing home residents to get more than one. Families are able to get a sense of happiness at a time like this by helping to brighten someone's day. The two women are thankful for all the support they receive from others joining them in doing something nice. You know, anytime you see little kids' drawings or, or notes um, or, you know, cards from anybody, that brings joy to your heart. So that's really what um, Caitlin's idea was, and that's what we were really on board to try to uh, encourage everyone to do. Uh, I think it's awesome. I was so excited that so many people wanted to help and that so many people thought, that, you know, that they wanted to contribute and that they wanted to get their families involved. It really warmed my heart to know that I wasn't the only person who wanted to help other people. Nursing homes will begin to receive the cards this week and next week. A list of nursing homes being served is posted in the article. Now, if you want to get on board, there's still time to help. Check out the group on Facebook, Easter Cards for Nursing Homes, to see a list of nursing homes that still need cards made. Odessa Meredith, your Erie.com.